Hello, welcome to Paul Sherry Conversion Vans. My name is Justin Smith, and today I'm going to demonstrate a custom van. What this van is, is a 2007 Chevrolet Low Top Limited SEX Explore, all-wheel drive. Um, and we do a lot of custom van videos here at Paul Sherry's, but when I tell you this is truly a one-of-a-kind van, wait till we get inside. Now, starting with the front of the van, uh, the paint is excellent on this. There's no noticeable rock chips, any dings anywhere to be found on the front of this van. Um, again, this van being one of a kind only has 5,000 miles on it. And again, it's an all-wheel drive. Now, moving to the side of the van, we've got a premium 18-inch wheel on this van. Uh, brand new condition. Tires are in great condition all the way around. Again, the paint on this van, the same as the front, just flawless all the way down the side. No noticeable door dings uh, or rock chips anywhere on this van. Uh, one of the neatest features that this van does have is a side camera system. Now how that works, it's, it's pretty simple. As soon as you activate your left or right turn signal, it's gonna give you a visual over here in the left lane or either the right lane, whichever turn signal you have on. Really nice safety feature and very hard to find. Uh, moving across the van, Again, no noticeable door dings, no paint defects. Absolutely beautiful, perfect. Now moving around to the back of the van, same kind of condition back here. Um, you're gonna notice, again, uh, another camera on this, and this is your rear backup camera, which simply works as soon as you put the vehicle in reverse, your image is gonna show directly on your radio screen. Um, this van does have traction control being that it's an all-wheel drive van. Um, does come with a class three receiver hitch, and this van can tow safely up to 6,400 pounds. Okay, moving into the front of the van. Uh, just gonna go over some of the basics that come along with this all-wheel drive 2007 Explorer. Um, you'll notice that the steering wheel, it's a really nice steering wheel, uh, does have real wood grain on the wheel and is uh, partially leather wrapped. Is a full tilt steering. Okay, and also located on the steering wheel column are your controls for your windshield wiper, your cruise control. Now this van does come with power windows on both sides. They are heated. Uh, makes it really nice in the winter months. Uh, does have keyless entry, power locks. This, this uh, particular van does come with the tow package as I mentioned earlier. And your tow haul button is located right on the dash beside the radio. Uh, this van also does feature a navigation system, uh, which is factory from General Motors. Uh, very easy to use uh, interface, good system, and it also has the capability um, and connectivity to uh, an iPod or an iPhone uh, to support music. Um, the actual rear view mirror on this does have the built-in compass, uh, which is a really nice feature. Now this van does come with front, rear, um, front and rear heat and air, I'm sorry, um, with controls located above the radio for the front of the van and the controls for the back uh, climate is located right above the rear view mirror. Uh, now above the controls uh, for the rear air are all your indirect switches, which are gonna power the lighting in the back of the van. Now one of the switches will do the lighting on the ceiling and the other uh, switch does the valises uh, where the curtains are, there's lighting in there as well. Now this van does also have a power sunroof located in the front of the van. Does have a nice sunshade as well. Um, the, the controls for that are located right above the mirror as well. It's a fully function uh, sunroof. And this van does have um, both captain chairs up in the front, our power, eight-way power pedestal uh, with even power recline. And they also do have power lumbar located right on the armrest. Now this van between the two front seats also does have a cooler. Now the lid for the cooler in between the front seats also acts as two cup holders as well. Now you do have three cup holders uh, stationary right below the uh, radio as well. So you've got a total of five cup holders just in the front of this van. Okay, and last but not least, my favorite feature on this van, as I mentioned earlier when we were outside the van, it does have side cameras, okay? And that's simply activated by just turning your turn signal on, and then you're gonna have your image, and that would be the left lane. And if you click it to the right, that would be your right. Really nice safety feature. You don't know how nice it is until you get a chance to use it and try it. 
Okay, moving along to the back of the conversion van. Now again, this is truly a custom van uh, designed by uh, the previous owner and Explorer. And I'll get into some of that here as we go, as we move along. Now this van with the electronics that are in the back of this van, being a low top conversion van, we have a flip down monitor, which is a 15 inch located directly on the ceiling. Um, it does come with your standard DVD player located at the back of the console. Now underneath the DVD player, you do have inputs uh, for connectivity of any uh, video game uh, system will connect directly to the monitor. Um, now this system does feature one pair of uh, wireless headsets. So uh, mom and dad or whoever's driving this van doesn't have to listen to the movie or whatever's playing back here uh, while in motion. So that's a really nice feature. Now you do, as I spoke of earlier, have uh, front and rear air in the back of this uh, uh, van, also heat. Now you do have controls to uh, adjust the climate from the front of the van and the passengers do have controls uh, back here as well uh, to control the climate. Now this van does feature a two-tone leather package. Uh, what we have is a gray captain's chair with black inserts. Now both captain's chairs in the back um, and even the captains in the rear do have armrests on both sides and they are a fully reclinable chair. Um, now moving along to some of the custom features in this van, uh, this van does feature uh, a laminate wood floor. Uh, very unique, I've only seen a few done like this in, in the many years I've been in this business and uh, I tell you it makes it really nice for cleanup. Now, um, the configuration of this van is a little different than what uh, you're used to seeing. Um, there's no rear sofa in the back of this van. This van was custom uh, designed to be a five passenger van. So there's five captain shares in this van with the fifth located in the rear. Now this van, uh, the most unique feature about this van would be the fully enclosed bathroom in this van. And we'll show you a little more in detail as we move along, but this uh, conversion van does have a self-contained uh, bathroom uh, with a door on it. Now inside this bathroom, um, you do have uh, a vent fan, uh, you do have fresh water, and there's even a tank to hold the, the wastewater after you get done washing your hands. Really nice feature, especially for long travels. Uh, with a 32 gallon fuel tank in this van and 20 miles per gallon, uh, you can go 630 miles without stopping. So that bathroom could be very important. Now the bathroom in this conversion van, um, as you see, is really nice and laid out, um, very well thought of. Uh, it does have a sink uh, with fresh water to be able to wash your hands. Uh, it does have a drain tank and there is a quick release drain on the back of uh, the van that I can demonstrate as well uh, to empty your tank. Um, does have a nice little toilet paper holder storage right beside the toilet paper uh, holder for extra paper and uh, there's a little cabinet underneath the sink as well for storage. Now you might wonder about the privacy in this van uh, while using the restroom. Uh, now the, the van does have a 5% limo tent all the way around the back of the van and you also do have a privacy shade to be able to pull down uh, to give you a little extra privacy while in the bathroom as well. Again, my name is Justin Smith with Paul Sherry Conversion Vans, and I truly want to thank you for your time today why we did this demonstration on this all-wheel drive limited SEX Explorer. Uh, again, I can't uh, express enough on how nice this van is and such a rare find with only 5,000 miles. Now, if you like what you saw today, I ask that you kindly uh, like us on Facebook and follow us on YouTube because we definitely have more conversion van videos to come. Thanks again.